Rebuilding a model steam plant, part 49. The rebuild of this steam plant is now completed. It is the first live steam test of the finished plant. This plant bears very little resemblance to the one that I received. The excellent baseboard is there, as is the plastic canister which used to hold the gas tank. Not forgetting the very American style water tower. Originally I was given this plant by a man in California, and there's not too much left of the original plant. The Stuart No. 10V was rebuilt, and the Stuart S50 is not the one that was originally on the plant. Once again this was an old S50 that I rebuilt from the ground up. The boiler fitted to the plant is a Stuart 501, and I made the condenser and piped everything together. I filled the boiler as I showed in the last episode, and here, as also shown in the previous episode, I'm lighting the burner. And before anyone comments, I am not pointing the blowtorch at the canister, it's just the camera angle. I wasn't sure that the burner was lit because it's so quiet, so I tried again. But as you can see, the burner is burning merrily, no problems there. This is not a rehearsed schematic for the video, this is exactly how it happened on the day. And also the video is running in real time. I have a Rylang oil can and I soldered an extension pipe into the end of the nozzle. This is very useful for a couple of reasons. One is it allows you to get where other oil cans can't. And it also means I can keep the oil can out of the shot. Well, almost anyway. You'll be pleased to know that I'm not going to speak all the way through this video. Once steam is raised and the engines are running, I will just sit back and watch it myself. Before that though, there are some things that I need to explain. Each of the engines is fitted with a displacement lubricator, these are not the Stuart type. They are slightly smaller, and in common with the Stuart type, they are very good quality units. As far as I'm aware, I think these are made in Switzerland. They are not cheap, and for once, they are not made in China. The first thing to do is to remove the top cap and fill the lubricator with steam oil. Steam oil, also known as superheater steam cylinder oil, is thicker than the lubricating oil that I use on the bearings. After refitting the caps on both of the lubricators, I open the valve one complete turn out. It's a really good idea not to forget to do this. The valve lets a very small amount of steam into the lubricator, which displaces the oil, so if the valve isn't open, then this is not going to happen. This boiler raises steam very quickly, I'm really pleased with it, but I've found a problem already. There's a bit of a leak on the steam tap to the number 10. Obviously I'm not going to do anything about this during the test. I will take note of any problems and put them right when the plant is cool. Here I'm checking the function of the water gauge blowdown valve and the third tap on the turret. The knocking sound you can hear is caused by the piston hitting the water at each end of the stroke. These are very small engines so the drain cocks are not essential, the knocking soon stops and the engine runs smoothly. That is it for the narrative until the end, enjoy the run.
After a while, I disconnected the gas canister and that is the end of the first steam test. There is something that I want to mention. Even though I fitted a drain tap on the water pipe from the water tower to the hand pump, you don't need to drain the water tower every time. However, as the steam disappears inside the boiler, a vacuum is formed and this is what happens. It sucks the water into the boiler and it will fill the boiler right to the top, which is no good. The way to get out of this is to open the third tap on the turret and also the tap on the boiler to stop the vacuum from forming. I wasn't concentrating as I was making a video and the boiler level in the water gauge glass was a bit high. But thanks to the water gauge drain tap, I can let some water out before I steam it for a second time. This has been a very successful first steam test. I will be doing a second steam test just to make sure everything is okay when I move the plant into my house. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this steam test illuminating. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.